Hi, my name is Mandy Smith. I'm the Southwest Region Education Specialist for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. In this video, we'll talk about what makes a fish a fish. First, all fish are vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. If we take a look, I have an x-ray of a pumpkin seed fish, and you can see that backbone running right down the center line of the fish. Now, some fish have a hard bone for their backbone, and others have a soft cartilage. Nearly all fish in Pennsylvania are bony fish, meaning they have that hard backbone. Next, all fish are cold-blooded. This is also called being ectothermic. Now, being cold-blooded doesn't mean that their bodies are cold. It means that their body temperature will change depending on the temperature around them. Next, all fish spend their entire lives in the water. This means that they've developed some adaptations to help them to survive in an aquatic world. First, they use gills to breathe instead of lungs like we have. The gills are located inside the body, behind the eyes, and are covered by a hard bony plate that opens here. That hard bony plate is called the operculum and it protects the gills inside, much like our lungs are protected by our rib cage. If you were to look at the gills inside the body, you would see they're kind of feathery in there and they're red because they have a lot of blood vessels in them. If you ever watch a fish in an aquarium, you'll see that it's always opening and closing its mouth and opening and closing that gill cover. And what it's doing is it's taking in water and passing it over the gills and the gills are able to get oxygen from the water. Now the gills are very sensitive. So unless you're taking a fish home with you, you never want to stick your fingers inside that gill opening whenever you catch the fish. Another adaptation that fish have to live in a watery world is that they all have fins and each type of fin serves a different purpose. Let's take a look at them. Okay. So the pair of fins that are on the side of their head are called the pectoral fins. And they also have a pair of fins on their belly below called the pelvic fins. Both the pectoral and the pelvic fins are used to help the fish steer, stop, and hover in place. Next, you have the dorsal fin on the back. And this fin helps keep the fish from rolling over. Sometimes that fin can help protect the fish too because some fish have sharp spines that they can raise up to help protect them from predators. Near the anal opening is the anal fin on the bottom, and that also serves to help the fish balance in the water. And finally, we have the caudal fin, which is also called the tail fin, of course, and that tail fin propels the fish forward in the water when it's swimming. So, what makes a fish a fish? First, they're all vertebrates. They're cold-blooded. They live their entire lives in the water, so they have gills to breathe and fins to move about. 